because I was quite introverted. I mean, as most sort of nerdy people tend to be. So to take this leap to go to a place that I'd never lived, Boston, uh, and commit to spending five years, years there without knowing anyone in an academic environment I didn't know. I didn't really know what US universities were like. In a research environment that was clearly going to be challenging because I, I went to Harvard and, and there was no sense that it was going to be easy. Yeah. Uh, I think I think the courage to do that came from my desire to change my trajectory. Uh, and his this this uh, professor had encouraged that change and, and pointed me in the right direction because otherwise I might not have known which way to go. But he definitely pointed me you know, go to the US and make something of your, so if you sort of go west, young man. You no, know, absolutely, I, I did the same thing, I came from Norway, absolutely. You can be courageous for yourself. Right. Or you can be courageous for a collective good, and I think I'm a bit of a hybrid. Okay. My self-satisfaction comes from impact that is beyond myself. Yeah. So therefore, the idea was, I wanted to do scientific or technological work that had greater impact. I didn't even need my name associated with necessarily, that's always the test. I wanted to have impact to feel myself that I had actually made a mark. And, and that well, was good I, enough. It doesn't matter whether it was, you know, annotated, starred, Marcus did this. Uh, obviously, it's nice if, you know, your family knows it. But uh, but beyond that, uh, I wanted to have impact. And I think uh, that drove me forward a lot. The, the courage came from wanting to have a bigger impact.